Hello and welcome to Goma at Home. Uh, today we're uh, cooking something Pinoy. No? Pagluluto tayo today ng crispy pancit canton. Of course, ang kailangan natin is pancit canton. We have ingredients like uh, pork, shrimp, squid, meron tayong uh, quail eggs, and then we have vegetables. Simulan natin sa pag-init sa ating skillet. So itong crispy pancit canton, ibig sabihin to, dalawang section to. We'll make the pancit canton crispy. And then on the other hand, gagawa tayo ng pinaka sauce niya. So by heating our uh, our skillet, kunahin natin of course yung pagpapamantika natin sa babski. We put some uh, Doña Elena pomas para magrender ng fat yung uh, imbaboy natin. Yan, tinan to. And while doing that, puputulin natin yung vegetables natin. Wow. Ang mga manok, active na naman sila. Punahin natin yung garlic. So pag maganda yung pagdurog mo dun sa, ano, sa, sa garlic, matatanggal na yung garlic dun sa, sa skin niya. Madali na siyang tanggalin, i-peel off. Okay, so what did I learn? Sa pagtanggal ng garlic sa, sa kamay, simple lang pala. So after mong uh, magtrabaho sa garlic mo, ang gagawin mo lang, when you start cleaning your your uh, utensils or your knife, lalo na sa knife, kasi stainless to, no? I-rub mo lang yan mo, i-rub mo lang yung kamay mo dito na merong soap. Yan ah. Then magically, for some reason, yung metallic reaction niya, nawawala yung garlic smell. Yan, ganun lang, ganun lang kasimple. Thank you so much for uh, those who taught me how to do that. Uh, sa mga reactions niyo, thank you so much. Yan, so, yung fat natin, yung baboy natin, gusto dito, ah, uh, Talagang halos malutong na siya, no? Dapat yung mga ingredients mo, my style of cooking is, inaayos ko na siya, ina-arrange ko na siya na ganyan. Para one, while I'm cooking, bagsak na lang ng bagsak na ingredients, no? So we'll do our onions. Ganda ng panahon, ah. Parang, parang may feel ko na na papasok na ang summer. Onions, putulin lang natin siya ng pahaba. And then, cut the end, take out the roots. Yun naman natin, yung ginger. Kuha tayo ng magandang part ng ginger. Yun. Pag, pag peel ito, gano'n lang. Gamitin mo lang yung knife mo. Yun, gano'n lang. Get some uh, ginger. Okay. Cut it into strips. Ito muna. Then we'll cut our ginger into strips. This will give us a very, uh, very good flavor, very good scent, no? So, nandiyan na siya. Nakaayos na lahat ng uh, mga ingredients natin. You have your garlic, onions, ginger, and then our chicharo. Nandito na. And then, gamit ng broccoli. Ayan. Mga green salad. Oops! Mga talsik-talsik ah. Ganun ah. We'll put chicken meat. Sama na natin dito. Ayan. Mga matagal maluto yung mga yan. Okay. Ayan. So, yung... Broccoli, gusto ko ganito lang kalalaki. Hindi mo kinala na masyadong malaki yung, yung mga veggies. Ayan. Kamay-kamay mo lang ito, okay na siya. So, may mga matigas na part yung uh, broccoli. Just just cut it off. Put it on the side. Ayan. Aside from having beautiful colors sa pagkaon, you know, this is very nutritious. Vitamins and minerals na nasa sa broccoli is very good for the body. Haluin natin ito. So while we're cutting this, we're doing things sabay-sabay. And just to save time. To prepare bang a good 30 minutes, tapos ka na dito. No? And then, we'll, uh, we'll do our uh, carrots. Gently peel your carrots. And then later on, we'll, we'll cut this crosswise. So, kung magandang to, medyo, yan na natin. Lagyan natin ng konting decoration. Magka-carve out lang tayo ng part of carrots here. You know, tanggalin natin yan. Okay. So, bakit natin si pinutol ng ganun? That way, when you start cutting it crosswise, kita yung manipis lang. So, maganda na tignan yung carrots natin. Di ba, Ning? Okay. So, that's our carrots. So, bahil tayo na malutong na to, maganda na yung pagka-brown niya, we can start putting, putting in the other ingredients. And then, I'll do the polio, cabbage. Uh -huh. There you go. Tagalan natin yung matigas na part. There you go. Cut it in half. 
And then, litan pa natin, yun, pag ganun. Yan, pag ganun lang siya. That's it. That's all you need. So, now all our veggies are prepared. Let me just clean the uh, chopping board. Okay? And then, uh, maghanda na rin tayo ng chicken stock natin. Kasi yun yung magiging base ng, uh, ito yung magiging base para sa soup natin. Yung iba, ginagawa nila, sinatanggal pa nila siya, separate pa nila yung, yung baboy while cooking. You, you don't have to do that. Yeah, you can just cook it straight na ganito. So, now, lagyan na natin yung uh, ginger natin and our onions. Yan. Good. And then, sabay na rin natin yung carrots kasi yung carrots, ito yung medyo matagal ma, ma, maluto. So, there you go. Beautiful. Let's mix it well. Pag translucent na yung uh, onions natin, no? tapos medyo lumambot-lambot na yung, yung carrots natin, we will put in the other ingredients. So, we'll make sure na maganda na ang uh, luto ng onions natin. And then we can start putting in our garlic. Yan. Very nice. <coughs> okay. Bango na. Humot na ay. Nice. So we can put in some uh, pepper. So we'll grind some pepper. Nice. Go. Put in some uh, some salt. At this point, lagyan na natin sa nang dito oyster sauce. Hmm. So dito, compound yung flavor nito. Layers and layers of flavor. So okay na siya. Time to put in our veggies. Pass natin yung repolyo. All right. We we'll put in our chicharo. Beautiful. And then we'll put in our broccoli. Let's uh, mix this. Okay, nice. See the beautiful colors. Ganda, di ba? Hmm. After this, ilagay na natin yung sa gitna. Ilagay na natin ang ating squid and shrimps. Kailangan yung shrimps nakadivay na para malinis. Sago lang na to. Okay. Looks good, no? And then, lagawa natin ito ng pinaka-sauce na niya. Once luto na yung shrimps niya, we'll make our our soup for this. Tikman natin. Kuha tayo ng tikin sa pork. Mm. Very good. Alright. Lagyan na natin yung stock natin. Put in some chicken stock. Ito na yung magiging pinaka pipe ng sauce niya. Pakakuloan lang natin to. Lagyan na dyan ng cornstarch mamaya. Itong noodles natin later to make it soft. Iba-blanch natin siya ng konti and then ifa-fry natin siya until maging crispy. A little more uh, stock. And ipakakuloan lang natin siya. Ayan. So at this point, we'll prepare ang ating uh, thickener. We have uh, cornstarch and water. The cornstarch and the stock is okay. Uh -huh. About a tablespoon and a half. And then put some uh, stock. Halo lang natin dito. And we'll mix it. Ito yung magpapalapot sa, sa sauce natin. Before we put in our uh, thickener, gusto mo ng... Good. Konti lang lagyan natin ng toyo, soy sauce. There you go. Nice. Woohoo. Beauty. So what I'll do, I'll cover this and then move this on the other side. Ayan. So at this point, gagawin natin, ipablanch natin yung, uh, yung pancit canton natin. Tapos mamaya, ipafry natin until maging crispy siya. Lagyan natin sa dito, mabilis lang. Para sa buhok ni Medusa. Oh. Okay. Blanch it lang. Ayan, lambot lang siya ng konti. Wala, quick lang to. In less than a minute, take it out. And then, ito na fry natin. Let this drain. Bakit natin siya ginanon? Para number one, makuha natin shape ng, uh, ng frying pan natin. No? And then, because we uh, cook this in chicken stock, so makuha na rin yung flavor ng chicken stock. Ito na yung gagawin natin yung shape para sa sa ano natin, para sa pancit natin. Next, we'll check on our 
on our base. Okay na siya. Ang ganda na. Palalaputin na natin yung, yung sauce natin by adding cornstarch. So, so pag kulang pa yung, uh, yung lapot, all you have to do is just add cornstarch. Good. Gusto ko pa siya na lumapot ng konti. So as you can see, sabay-sabay natin ginagawa to. This will save you time. Put this here. Just a little. Mix natin. Oh, nice! And then, one more try. Dito may kita mo na kung tama na yung lapot niya. Tsaka yung taste niya. Ah, sarap! So we can add our quail eggs. And turn it off. And that's it. Yan naman. Gagawin na natin itong ating uh, pancit. Crispy pancit canton. So we're putting some uh, Doña Elena pomas oil. Damihan mo. So deep fry. In effect, deep, deep fry siya. Pag mainit na yan, lagyan natin ito. So pag mainit na yung oil, tignan natin kung mainit na. We'll test it. Init. Mainit na. Bakit? Napaso na ako eh. So mainit na nga. Okay. Sige, lagyan natin yung pancit. And then, watch out. Right. From here on, it'll take shape already. Kailangan mainit siya para, para mag-brown yung all sides. Including the center. So give it about, kung talaga mainit na mainit, mga a minute and a half, then it'll take shape. Then magbabrown na siya. Bago natin siya i-flip. At this point, ikot na natin. Okay. And then, yun. We'll cook the other side. Idiin natin ng konti. Ayan. Maganda ang buhay pag may konting diin. Yung uh, shape niya dito, doon natin ilalagay yung pinaka, yung pinaka sauce niya. Ayan, sasalo dun sa ano, sa ilalim. So ngayon na uh, luto na to, diretso na natin uh, sa plate. Ah, sa buo siya. Idrain lang natin yung konti yung oil. Now, Tama, pag kinuha mo yung noodle niya. Lutong. Hmm? And then, lagay na natin itong, uh, ito yung pinaka sauce niya. Hmm? Put this on top. Wow, can you hear that? Hmm? Ganda, oh. Look at the beautiful colors, oh. And then, put the sauce. Yeah. Okay. Crispy Pancit Canton. Subukan natin. Pero masarap to. Sprinkle natin ng konting sesame oil. Ah. There. Goody. The best part of uh, cooking is always the eating. Wow. Crispy talaga. That's right. And then squid. Konting vegetables. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Tap talaga. Hmm. So thank you for uh, watching Goma at Home. Please subscribe, like, and uh, press on the notification bell and leave a comment so that you'll know pag meron kami mga bagong videos. Okay, so I hope ma enjoy nyo itong uh, niluto natin today. Crispy Pancit Canton. If you have the recipe, if you have the ingredients, do this in your own kitchen. Masarap talaga. Alright, thank you so much. This is Richard Gomez. Thank you for joining me here in Goma at Home. Bye. Big bite. Gusto ko yung quail eggs. Noodles. Sarap. Mmm! 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 Mmm!